Hello and welcome back. It happens to be a rainy day today in Vancouver, but what else is new? Anyway, continuing with the bird feeder kit from last uh, couple episodes, we've used all of the pieces except for the center post, which we already have with the coffee grinder. We used uh, a cube from it. And now we are going to use the top bit, um, which on the last episode I told you, well, it already has this shape for a nice little roof. And now we're going to make the birdhouse. Um, these two were made uh, from this little, um, this little bit of wood, plus a couple of extra bits, as you can see, this one. Uh, same thing, but I added a little chimney. Okay, like that. You can embellish these any way you want. Okay, so what we have here, if you do not have one of these that already has, or any piece of wood that looks similar to this, um, that has the roof uh, angle, you can make your own. Just draw on the angle and then you cut it with your um, miter. You go like that on one side, like that on the other side, as we learned last time. I'm not going to do that now because it's going to make a lot of noise and I already have one prepared. If you do not have um, a little bit of wood like that, you can also um, use these cubes. Uh, if you stack them one on top of the other, like this, um, I know that um, you have an edge here, but the easy thing to do is you can use uh, filler to, um, to to fill in the gap or just wrap it with paper and then paint over it. Uh, no one will ever know. Glue the, the paper on nice, nice and lots of glue and um, you'll never know that it's uh, two cubes for that shape. Okay, so you're going to need that. You're going to need, I'm using um, roofing shingles because um, I seem to have lots of them. So I'm using roofing shingles for the roof. Imagine that. Um, I have ones that are um, flat in the bottom or yes, flat. And then I have ones that have been uh, cut out, which is the ones that I used in my dollhouse that have these little edges. You can use whichever one. Um, in this house, I used uh, a piece of cardstock. As you can see, I just bent it over um, a little piece of card and um, bent it over to make the, um, the roof. Um, this one, I used the little shingle. Now we also need a little bit for the bottom and you can use a little bit of wood from here as well. Just going to cut it uh, to the size. Okay, so we're just going to cut the size of the base that you want or you can um, cut it from a popsicle stick. However you get your wood. Uh, we discussed wood last time so I'm not going to go through that. Just trying to do this as a nice quick um, project. We're also going to need a toothpick. Uh, and that toothpick is going to be um, for this little, for the little perch. I think you'll call that a perch. And, um, and, and also on this one, um, I didn't like the joint that I got uh, when I put the two roof pieces together. So I added this in the center and it made it a little bit of a detail. Um, Plus it covered that gap. So that's all you need. Let's get going. I'm going to, first of all, um, before I, I started, I drilled a hole. Now you're going, oh, oh, now I need to have a drill. Not really, you don't really need to have a drill because you can just paint a, a, a round black circle and it gives you the impression of it being um, a hole that you want. I scored it here. I think I'm going to do it that, that height. It seems like every time I make one, I make it just slightly dead. This one's going to be a little bit taller, um, just a bit, a tiny bit taller than the other one. There we go, over here. Just a tiny bit taller than the other one. Why not? Um, I scored it, so I'm just going to stop the camera for now and um, cut it. It's a straight cut, so I didn't think it was necessary to show it to you. So I just started the cut and I'm going to continue cutting it until I get to the bottom. Okay, so here's the cut size that I wanted. It has the hole and now we're going to have to cut the roof pieces 
and that is simply going to be I'm going to use the same the same one I like this one that has all the, the fancy edges so to, to cut these they tend to split so what I suggest you do and you're going to take the two pieces and simply tape them nice and tight together so that when you cut the little with the little pieces of wood they tend to split so it will keep them uh, together and I'm just gonna rough cut it I don't have any particular size in mind of what I want to use for the roof so I'm looking at this one here okay so I'm just going to um, make myself a mark about there it's the size that you, whatever overhang or the flange that you want so I'm going to put this on the miter box and I'm going to cut this out. I also have cut this with uh, scissors. Um, they have to be very sharp and um, you certainly run the risk of it splitting a lot faster. Um, now this is a little sticky because of the tape. That's why it's sticking a little bit. But it does the trick as far as keeping the, um, the wood together. I think it's just done its thing. Now when you take the tape off, Okay, be very careful because it still might be in danger of uh, having the wood split. Okay. Gonna remove it and boom, there you go. There's your two pieces and those are going to go like that on either side. So that's the two bits you need. Then then I have a little uh, punch. I'm simply going to punch in a tiny bit of a hole and that is so that I can put the little perch on it. So you just keep pressing it. My little um, drill bit came apart. So I stopped it. So, and I'll wiggle it a little bit just to give it a little bit of a wider hole in the beginning. And if the hole is not wide enough just take your pointy blade and just circle it in there a little bit a little bit like that and then it, it makes it for a little um, bigger opening and that is like I mentioned okay, that is for the toothpick to go in and that way, when you put the glue in it, it has a better chance of um, the glue holding. I had also whittled this one other toothpick down um, so it goes in further and it's not as thick. I think I'll use this other one. It was just a flat one um, that I just shaved off a little bit. And I think I'm going to use this one. It's a little finer. And well, I don't really need the miter, but since it's here, going to cut a bit like that. You can always cut it back a little bit once it's installed. You can always, um, you know, if it's too big, cut it. Cut it a little bit more. Um, there you go. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly great, but this is a birdhouse. It's, I think it's meant to be rustic. Let me use that. Okay, so now we have the perch, that, the roof, we need the base and for the base I'm going to use another one of these little tiles and I'm going to have a little flange all the way around like so I'm going to measure it up and I'm going to cut it like this I'm giving myself about an eighth of an inch all the way around We're good now and so now you have the base the other one thing I want to use is the toothpick for the top uh, and I'm simply going to cut it in. And the only other thing is with this one, it has a chimney. But you know, if you want to be brave, um, cut out little bits of little squares and make the chimney. Um, you know, it's up to you. Um, not all birdhouses have chimneys. I don't think they're doing any wood burning in there. So, 
Well, before we put the house together, I'm going to paint it because it's easier to paint it now than it is afterwards. Can you see? Okay, and I'm going to do it on the other side. I mean, you can do as much as or as little as you like, um, or none. And um, the other thing we're going to do now is I'm going to paint the black hole. Uh, I actually have paint to paint in there because I made the hole. Now, I don't know if you've seen these before. They were um, the dollar store. And they just come pre-filled with water. I think it's watercolor. Okay, everything's pretty much dry. So I shall start with the bottom of the birdhouse. And... You can do it the flange all the way around, or you can do it flat up against the back. Or in this case, I gave it a little lip all the way all the way around. Um, okay, and now you have the roof. Again, if you have all the pieces, put your roof on here. Um, again, I'm dividing up the flange, the roof a little bit between the back and the front. And the other side, um, I'm not allowing it to join together on the top because I like the way that this looks on top of here. It's, it just sort of gives them an additional perch. So I create the, the indent, the ridge. Sorry. And I'm going to put glue on this little ridge. Oh, that may have been a little bit too much excitement here with the glue. Okay, put it in there. And then I put that on top and I'm allowing it to go to the front a little bit more than the back. In case the bird's little friend wants to come and perch up on top. Okay, so that's it kind of going on. Uh, and then this little bit, with, I'm just going to put glue on the tip. And because my glue dries clear, I'm going to be generous with it. And just put a whole bunch into the, the hole. Okay, that might be too big. Uh, I'm going to cut it down a little bit. There you go. And now um, on one of these, I actually put a little um, ring, little metal ring around it, give it a little bit of detail. So when this is dry, you can detail it whichever way you like. This one turns out to be a little bit dark. So um, I like the brighter colors. But anyway, so here it is. And it's going to dry. And you can see that um, and you can see that the the paint is not all even. I don't really get too upset about it. As a matter of fact, I could touch it up with a little bit of black because I never leave well enough alone, apparently. And um, give it some detail like that. And on the front, well, you can make these as cheerful as you like, as colorful as you like. Um, 
there you go now you've got a little bit of roof detail how do you like that if I keep it still you might be able to see it a little bit better there you go. I'm gonna put it on the bottom here and there you are I'll show you um, what the kits were that we handed out at the club when we did this so basically um, the bits that you saw here I also did there were a couple ladies that do one uh, quarter scale and I did this little kit and this is what we got with that I put this little one together it's quite tiny I'm trying to show you here without focusing there you go same little birdhouse but obviously this was not built from that piece of wood it was just a, another teeny bit of wood that I had and all right so that's it um, another cute little birdhouse um, for your birds and when you embellish it with little twigs and and whatnot um, you'll get a lot more uh, detail on it and um, brighten it up I put a butterfly on this one uh, some flowers and twigs um, will do the trick on here too if you enjoyed this quick tutorial and um, come back for the next time which will have nothing to do with birds or <laughs> bird feeders I promise I think we're all done bye for now and don't forget to like and subscribe see you again soon